tomorrow's the test. We did these three problems in class today, one, two, and three. Um, here's the graphing problem. The y-intercept is 0, 5. One solution, make sure we found the rate of change here. We found the rate of change of this original graph, which is in red, to be negative one-third. You do y2 minus y1, and you pick any two points, and you'll see that your rate of change is negative one-third. So we know that this rate of change can be anything but negative one-third to make it one solution. And then you'll see that <coughs> um, the rate of change is different in order to be one solution. And you graph it here, the, the line in blue, and your line will be different because your rate, your um, <coughs> equation of a line here, a linear equation, will di be different than mine. Um, okay, this here, y-intercept 0, 1 right there. Um, the rate of no solution means the rate of this y-intercept has to be different which is right here, so you see that, and the rate of change has to be the same in order for it to be parallel to have no solution. So same rate of change um, and different y-intercept. Um, you graph it and you'll see it's parallel, they'll never meet. Now this problem here, I'm going to go over this because it is going to be on the test. Um, write a, the cost of making a ring, the cost of making a ring is y equals to $20 design fee and $5 per ring, so 5x plus 20. Um, you are planning to sell $30 for three rings and um, six, six rings for $60. So define the variable. Here x is the number of rings. And y is the cost. Of making that ring. Okay, here it says find the rate of change. Rate of change is always y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. For selling the ring, and write a linear equation in point slope, which is y2 minus y1, and solve it to be equals to y equals to mx plus b y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. Okay, so we'll start out with that. Um, rate of change. So 3 and 30, 3 rings for $30, and 6 rings for $60. Well, this is pretty obvious, actually. <coughs> so you get 60 minus 30 over 6 minus 3, 30 over 3 is 10, so the rate of change is 10, so x1, y1, y minus y1 equals to m parentheses x minus x1, so y minus 30 equals to m parentheses x minus, um, m is 10, x minus 3. You get y minus 30 equals to 10x minus 30 by 30. y equals to 10x plus 0 is 10x. Okay, graph it. Okay, we're going to count by tens. <coughs> and one for the ring. Number of rings. And this is cost of profit. It's a dollar amount. Okay, so I'm going to count these by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30, 35, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 90, 100, 100, 110,
Okay, so we'll start with um, this equation here. Got 20, got 5 over 1. Your line right there. And then the other one, that one is your cost graph. Ten dollars each. Start at zero. Okay, there's your solution. Now, like I said in class, your solution will not be clean like this. And this is your income from selling. Okay, and what is the solution? The solution is 420. That means that <clears throat> you sold four rings for $20. Also, it costs you $20 to make the four rings, so essentially you make zero. But after this um, um, break even point, you start making money. But sell more than it costs you. So after the 420, you, um, you start making money. So you need to explain all that. <coughs> the answer to these. I don't have time to write. I need to get going. And then I will finish um, the bottom problem at home. Okay. And then email it. And then, because I have to stop.